Thank you for watching Ravens Roundup, but we're 100% real, no matter if it's the popular opinion or not. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Click the like button and share it on your socials. Thank you and enjoy. The last, the last question is our, you know, we're doing our little um, non foot, non sports related questions where we talk about a little bit about life. And this last one is, um, what is your biggest regret that you can talk about? Because obviously, you know, you may have something that you don't want to kind of put out there, but what's your biggest regret that you can talk about or that you feel comfortable talking about? Uh, that's mm -hmm. easy for me. My baby mom. That's <laughs> super easy for me. Throw that one in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got something. Like this this instantly came to my mind when Chris said that. <laughs> Kobe. <laughs> 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 when he said that, that's what I thought of. <laughs> um, for me, it's um, and I and I and looking back on it, I'm thinking about it. Spending more time with other people's kids than my own, mm. and that's come from from with coaching. Uh, you know, coaching other people's kids and just spending more time, um, putting more life into their stuff than with my own blood kids that bothers me a lot these days. Mm -hmm. I think it, I, in the middle of it, I don't, I didn't process it. Like it affected the relationship, but as I got older and them being adults now, I feel like I should have made more time for them, but that's my, that's my biggest regret that that's bothering me. Right. Like daily now spending more time with other people's kids than I, than I did with my own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sharon? It's just us two. <laughs> Mike, uh, uh, Mike, Mike, you look like you're about to say something. No, I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm uh, that's this is a good question. I'm trying to think of one for me. I would say, um, probably not getting into uh computers and and you know, in science earlier, you know, I hated science in in, in school. You know, I uh, didn't really take a liking to, you know, computers or I, anything IT related until much later. I've, I've done a lot. I've done a lot of different things uh, in life. You know, um, you know, I went to culinary school right out of, out of yeah. high school. You yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that, that was that was me for a little bit. I won't cook a goddamn thing. <laughs> I, do cook. I don't cook for you. I, I do cook, uh, but no. That I mean, that was that was a while ago. Then you know, I kind of kind of burnt out of that real quick. Joined the military, you know, uh, got into the intelligence field. Did that for a little bit. Uh, was a defensive, uh, not defense, a defense contractor. Um, worked for the Department of Defense, and then finally got into you know IT. Um, I've been doing that, and I love it. But um, you know, I, I love like learning about space too like you know um learning something along those fields like i told i told b a while back like if i could do it again i'd probably be a scientist you yeah. know yeah so not 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 taking that seriously when i was younger is it, probably my, my biggest regret you need, talk miss, about. you need a miss frizzle as your teacher when you miss were frizzle. younger miss frizzle, frizzle. From the magic school bus. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's probably it's a along similar lines, but not really like pursuing writing seriously when I was younger. Because now, like, I, I kind of want to do it now, but you know, we're working and then doing the shows, and I just look at my screen and I'm like, I'm not doing anything with you today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, mine is probably, you know, not taking advantage of my five star status in high school and uh, becoming a drug boy. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm lying. I, I'm lying, guys. <laughs> um, recent as of recent, um, you know, some of you, well, y'all might know this about me, but I am. You know, I own 
a couple of properties and you know renting to uh people you know <laughs> <Let's just say. laughs> i regret the, the hell out of that and uh and i learned a lesson from this last situation um and it won't happen again <laughs> not they're not losses mike they're not losses they lessons lessons yeah, yeah. for sure yeah. That too should. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm Brian to talk about <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, and and but on a I will add this one. This on a lighter note, uh what I, my regret is, and I kind of preach this to the kids when I do when I am around them. Um, I regret not taking ball as serious as I should have. Cause I, you know, I, when I go home and I talk to different people, like in my, my little neck of the woods and it's just my little corner of the woods, sports was super easy to me, but I never took them serious. Cause I was always good at them without practice. Like I was, I ain't gonna say I was Iverson, but that, I had that mindset, like practice, but you know, <laughs> practice, I'm gonna go from football. I'm gonna go to basketball and I'm gonna go to baseball. I, ain't gonna, I, ain't, I, I never did like any off season for any of them. But I just happened to be good at them. And um, I didn't like I didn't like lifting weights till I was through playing sports. So imagine had you know I put like all this stuff that the kids do now, like lifting weights in the summer and seven on seven and all that stuff. I wish I had done all that. I but now I have to live with the regret that I didn't, and that's what I try to get them to realize. Look, give everything that you got now, because you don't want to be you don't want to be on the corner talking about with a pack of cigarettes talking about man I. I used to kill him in high I, school, I, boy. I, I mean, that one game I had thirteen points, yeah. boy. You don't want to be that dude. <laughs> Yo, yeah. it's it's crazy. Quick sidebar, real quick. It's crazy you say this, coach, because um, I was reading. Um, so there's there's this guy that created a Facebook uh, page, a group for like local sports. And I follow him because, you know, he covers a lot of, you know, our basketball and stuff like that. But he also goes back and covers, you know, brings up old stuff. And I'm reading and he talking about this girls team, you know, back in, I think they was, I think they won back to back state championship, 94, 95. And one of the names. Great year. (laughs) Great year. One of the names on there was like you know ended up being on on the 94 team was a junior 95 team you know her senior year led the team led the county in scoring assists rebounds i'm looking at this name and i'm like yo i know this person and like real talk this person is a yeah i hate to say it but like it's a person that hangs at the at the liquor store all day long. Mm. And I'm like, yo, like this, like you just don't know who you standing next to or who you run into or who you see and you know in their current state, but how they were, you know, and people on that team went D1, you know, and obviously she ended up being one of the better ones. So it just made me think of like, damn, she probably could have been D1 herself. Like what happened? So it's just crazy. So it's crazy that you say that, Coach. I, I mean, I haven't. I don't. First, I don't hang at the liquor store. I just know that she does. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I haven't been like you just stop you know, by there from time to time. <laughs> I, I haven't been around her to hear if she tells those stories. I roll by there on my way to church every day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't been around to know if she's that person you described. With a pack of cigarettes said, man, I used to drop this in high school, whatever, whatever. But it's just crazy. It's just crazy to, to read that yesterday and know how this person is now. So, mm. wow, don't become that. Hey, try not to live with regrets, man. Do what you got to do while you're in the moment. Mm-hmm. The, the, the thing is, um, and I read this book and a uh, friend of mine recommended it to me. It's called um, Be Where Your Feet At. I think that's what it's called. And basically, you know, live and live, be where yet. And that's kind of what got me to thinking. And I read it a while ago, but it just got me in the mind frame. I should have did more with my own in that time frame. 
and started mm-hmm. putting my all in. And, and, you know, I was coaching football. I was trying to win and trying to do everything I needed to do, but I still should have did more with my own. So, but that's where we at. All right. Chris, and I still, I look back at Chris, and I just look at this trash can over here. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Uh, wow, that's not easy for me, bro. <laughs> open and shut. Super easy. Open and shut case. Uh,